Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about Python tuples. It is an another data type in Python. As I already said in list data type video, both the list and tuples are almost same. Other than one property, lists are mutable and tuples are immutable like strings and numbers. A big note, I am going to use the same examples which we have learnt in list so I will be directly executing the code and show you the results. In case if you have missed list data type video, please glance it once because in that I have explained in detail. What is tuple? Tuple is a collection which is ordered and unchangeable. It is exactly same as list but once a tuple is created, you cannot add, delete, replace, reorder the elements. That's why it is called as immutable. Tuples are created with the enclosed parenthesis but in the list it is created using enclosed square bracket. That's the only difference in terms of coding I have updated in these examples. Just replaced a square bracket with parenthesis. A sample example of tuple. Within the parenthesis we have multiple values and each values are separated with comma and it is saved to a single variable. Let's see few more examples. How to create an empty tuple. Tuple 1 equal to enclosed parenthesis and printing it. Just run it. The empty tuple is created. Exactly same as list. The next example tuples having integers within the parenthesis. I am mentioning all the integer value. Just I am executing the code. Tuple having integer is created. The next example tuples with string we have given multiple string value which is separated by comma and it is inside the enclosed parenthesis just executing it tuple with string is also created the next example tuple 4 which is a nested tuples inside a tuple we have another tuple with string in this way also we can create the tuples just printing it the nested tuples are created in next example, tuples of different data type like integer, decimal point that is float, string, tuples. We can also create tuples like this. Just run the code. So we have created tuples using phi sample program. On a empty tuple, then tuple with integers, tuple with string, then nested tubes and finally tuples of different data type. Hope you got an idea how to create the tuples. On important note, when you create tuples with single value, you have to be very careful because whenever you mention single value, you have to include comma after that. If not, string data type will be created. In this example, I'm not mentioning the comma. So the data type is string. In same example, I have included the comma after string value. Now we will check the data type. Tuple is created. Mostly for single values, we won't do it. But in case if you are giving a single value, make sure you are including the comma. Next topic, list indexing and slicing. Indexing in tuples is exactly same as in list and string. We have discussed a lot about this topic, so I'm just doing a small recap. Each value in the tuple is assigned to an index. In the indexing mechanism, the first value starts with zero, then one and so on. It goes from left to right direction. In the negative indexing, the index value starts from minus 1, then minus 2 and so on and the direction is from right to left. Whenever you want to access a single value, then it is called as indexing. If you want to access a range of characters, then we say this as slicing. I have already seen these examples. Same example I am going to execute it. In the first example, the tuples having the integer value in that I want to access the second element. So tuple 1 within the square bracket, you have to mention the index value. If you mention 2, then you can guess the output will be 30. Then the second example using negative indexing. Same way within the square bracket, if you mention minus 2, that count starts from right to left. So minus 1, minus 2, the output will be 40. 
in the third example I am going to slice it from index 1 to index 3 in order to mention the slicing you have to use the colon symbol so the starting index colon end index from 1 till 3 and you know very well the last index minus 1 value it will be taking it so the output will be 1 and 2 and there are few other ways we can mention as per our requirement if you are not mentioning anything just the colon then it will take from starting till end and if you mention the first value colon and the second value as empty it will take till the end that is till the last element and uh, the first value is empty colon the last value is 3 means from the starting till the index 3 tuples will be taken just executing the code as we discussed we got the output the first one 30 then 40 slicing 1 2 3 it is not taking the third value that's why 20 comma 30 then comes i didn't mention any value so it is taken full tuple then in this example i'm starting with index 1 that's why it has taken 20 till the last element then in this example it starts from 10 that is index 0 till the third element hope you understood how indexing and slicing is working in case if you felt this is bit fast in this video please glance in string and list video in that i have explained very slowly the next topic is updating the tuples tuples are immutable which means you cannot update or change the value in case if you try to update any value you will get the type error you know how to update the value tuple 1 within the square bracket you have to mention the index value let me put 2 equal to instead of c i want to update as r i'm just replacing c with r just run it you will get the type error because tuple object does not support item assignment then how to delete the tuple element we must always remember we cannot remove the individual element but we can delete the entire tuple if you delete an particular item using del key del if you mention index just run it you will get the type error because it doesn't support the item deletion but we can able to delete the entire tuple using del key and then tuple 2 just run it the reason why we got name error because the tuple is deleted that's why the reason is tuple 2 is not defined the next topic how to transfer tuple using for loop in the list we mentioned a square bracket i just replaced square bracket with parenthesis then using for loop each element within the month tuple i'm trying to validate each value one by one using for loop then printing the each element just run it each value is displayed here this is how you will iterate the values from tuples using for loop the next topic tuple methods which will be continued in the next video for sample code you can refer this url it will be also mentioned in the video description thanks for watching